In this two-part leadership series, I'm going to talk about the 10 leadership skills you will need to thrive in 2021. My name is Modesta Mahika Bugoni. This is Modesta.Africa. Now, in this time, everybody is unhinged. People are stretched to the max. If you want to thrive in leadership in such a time as this, you will need leadership skills like no other. Leadership skills that really draw on your influence of people who have to choose of their own volition whether to follow you or run for their lives. The first leadership skill that you absolutely cannot do without in 2021 is empathy. Now, I'm not just talking about, you know, sounding like you can relate with people as a tactic, as a way of manipulating them. No, you truly need to get to a place where you stop everything, make no assumptions, do not dismiss things that you're reading off of someone else and make time to ask what is going on with you? Is there anything I can help you with? What do you think of this? Because whereas there's a time you could say, look, whatever your issues are, keep them outside the door. When you come here, we're working on the collective. We now know that just doesn't work. Everything affecting people in every area of their lives is material. And so if they cannot get support in their work on everything else that matters to them, guess what? Your leadership your work will be compromised. So empathy is a leadership skill you absolutely need to thrive in 2021. The second leadership skill you will need to thrive in 2021 is humility. One thing I have observed is the higher up leaders go, the less their ego shows. If you are around a leader who is still about themselves and flexing and putting you in your place, they're not ready for the highest, greatest levels of leadership. Why? Because leaders at that level understand no matter how good they are as an individual, it takes team effort for them to achieve something great. It takes diversity. It takes synergies. It takes strengths they may not have. Look, things take time. Even if you could do everything, you do not as one person in 24 hours, with so much energy, be able to do it on your own. And so the higher up you go, you find the more humble and personable leaders are. So if you are a leader and you have always been in your office on your high horse in a glass tower, 2021 will require you to unlock yourself from that cage, come down and meet people, not just where they are, but where you truly are, as you are looking to understand, um, you know, how to work with the new normal, as you are faced with challenges unprecedented before that you may not know what to do with. This is my tip to you. Call a meeting as soon as, whether you're going to call it with one person or you're going to call a team meeting, as soon as an issue comes up, don't sit with it in your head, trying to mull it over, trying to be the leader, come up with all the answers. No, call a meeting and say, guys, I actually don't know what to do. We're faced with this issue at the moment. I have no clue. What would you advise? How should we go about it? And allow people to advise you, to lead you so that when you are equipped with the knowledge, with the skills, with the perspective on what it would take, you can in turn then, as you're executing, be able to lead them through the implementation. So it will take a large dose of humility in 2021 for you to thrive as a leader. The third leadership skill that you will need to thrive in 2021 is teachability. Leaders are lifelong learners. Well, leaders with a growth mindset anyway. Allow other people to speak into your leadership, into your management, into your decision making. Go to that colleague that knows the area particularly well. Ask that person that has been working where you are for a while. Ask a peer. Yes, they may not even be rungs up above you, but they're peers who are doing something well in their area. Ask for help and then incorporate what you have been advised, what they are doing, what they're modeling and advising you. Incorporate that into your leadership and your management. 
I'm going to give you this tip. Every time you get new insight that you know will help you move forward in your leadership, stop, take note of it, and then ask yourself, how can I incorporate this as a habit so that it sticks, it builds me up, adds to my leadership toolkit so that I can show up stronger for the people who need me to lead them through the season that we're in. I wrote 52 leadership declarations for the 52 weeks of 2021 as declarations you can incorporate as habits. It gives you the opportunity to apply the leadership declaration of that week as a habit Monday to Friday and you get to evaluate how well did I do on a scale of 1 to 10 on incorporating this leadership declaration as a habit and it even helps you troubleshoot the areas where you feel like I hold back I kind of hesitate I feel uncomfortable applying this leadership de declaration it helps you troubleshoot through what are the thoughts what are the words what are the experiences you've had that have caused that and what then you can do to unlearn that negative thing so that you can adopt that positive leadership declaration as a habit. I'm going to put the description to 52 leadership declarations on this video. The fourth leadership skill you need to thrive in 2021 is submission. Oh, the S word. Find someone who you know you trust somebody who you feel is successful in the area that you are struggling with somebody that you know you would give permission to speak into your life yeah because there's that bit as well right we go look for people and then we're not really moved by taking their advice right find somebody whether it's a coach or it is a mentor whether it's an advisor a spiritual you know leader go to somebody else who is thriving in the areas you are struggling with and ask them to speak into your life and allow them to. There will be leadership blind spots. There will be perspectives. There will be struggles that you're currently going through that are somebody's past testimonials that they can help you through. Find somebody else. And please don't tell me, oh, I answer to God. Nothing like that. God puts people <laughs> in the earth who have the wisdom who have the experience that can help you through what you're struggling in. Do not, as a leader, sit there and, you know, try to be the be all and end all of things. You will mess it up for yourself and absolutely everybody else because 2021 has brought in this pandemic season just all kinds of dynamics and, and, and regulations and, and considerations and, and and honestly exceptions to what we have considered to be rules that you would want somebody else somebody wise somebody that you can turn to and trust to help you through the fifth leadership skill you absolutely need to thrive in 2021 is trust listen if you don't trust someone they shouldn't be in your circle they shouldn't be on your team if you choose to have them remain on your team, it's because you choose to trust them. Trust that they can do the job. Trust that they can think through um, the all, all kinds of eventualities, whatever scenarios that may come up that are related to the job that you have them uh, engaged in, the role that they play in your organization, in your group, and just stick to doing what you need to do. You need to stay sane, you need to conserve energy. You need to focus on what you need to do as a leader to take people forward. It is not for you to micromanage. It is not for you to second guess. If you find yourself in a context where you absolutely do not trust someone, please remove them so that you can move ahead with those that you do. I'm going to ask you to practice this. Take time off and think of a person that you are kind of you know on the fence with and ask yourself on a scale of one to ten how much do i trust them to be able to do their job effectively if you find that you know you're saying uh, i don't know a five less than five matter of fact if it's anything below a 10 ask yourself why do you give it that score 
and what needs to be done so that you can take it out to a place where you trust them. You actually trust them to get on with their job so that you can do yours. Whether you need to train somebody and maybe you hadn't and that's why you're just not sure as to whether they can, you know, they're up to the task or you need to um, mentor them, you know, check in with them now and then just to make sure that in terms of values and culture that you are of the same understanding. What is it that you need to do by them as their leader in order for you to trust that they can get on with their job? Because you do not need to be breathing down people's necks. You are already stretched. The whole world is stretched at home, at work, in every single context because of the pandemic. And so you would need to surround yourself with people that you trust. And if you don't, then find out what it is that you need to do to get to trust them. And if you find in you know this little evaluation exercise you're going to do that I actually will never get to a place where I trust them, then please remove them so that they can go in peace, you can remain in peace, and be able to do right by those that remain under your leadership. Those were the first five leadership skills that you will need to thrive in 2021. I'm going to come back to you with five more. If this video has been insightful to you, please like it. Subscribe to Modesta.Africa TV and turn on notifications for the next five leadership skills that you will need to thrive in 2021. Have a great one. Bye.